all have gathered here for celebrating STEM day. STEM day is celebrated on 8th of November every year. And today we are celebrating STEM day. So what is STEM day? STEM activities are those which are related to science, math and different scientific experiments. So today, a little boy of class Prep B, Ahan Chatterjee, is going to present a wonderful experiment of volcanic eruption in front of you. And you will be amazed to see this eruption. So are you all ready? Are you all ready? So kids, I'm handing over to Ahan. So over to Ahan. Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna present a erupting volcano in front of you all. For the main ingredients, we need, we need shampoo, baking soda, food color, and the vinegar. And we need and we need some like a paper. And we need foil paper. Step one. Make the paper into a cone. And then after making it into a cone, you have to walk you have to wrap the cone up with the foil paper. Then, And then you you get you get the glass, put it on a plate, then add and then add the ingredients. The first the first ingredient you have to add in it is shampoo. And then you put some, and then you put some food color, and then, then you add two spoons of baking soda, and and then you put the cone on the glass, and after putting the cone on the glass, you add the vinegar. Okay, now children, do you know these bubbles? Bubbles are carbon dioxide. 
dioxide, which is a gas. Achha, now tell me one thing, have you ever seen this kind of bubble somewhere in some drain or like that? Have you seen? Where are they? Where I know the name? Okay, I think you must have seen these kind of bubbles in cold drinks. When you, when you open the cap of a cold drink bottle, you can see the like bubbles, a lot of bubbles coming out, isn't it? Or if you pour that cold drink in a glass, of, uh, in a glass, that time also you can see a lot of bubbles. Okay, so now children, now let's see what is happening here. See, this baking soda is a solid. Okay, it is in solid form. And this vinegar is in liquid form. When they are separate, they don't change. See, they are as it is. Nothing is changing here. But when they mixed here together, solid and liquid, what happened? They form something new. What happened? Gas is formed. Very nice, Riti. Yes. And this gas is carbon dioxide. Okay. So, next time, whenever you drink cold drink, na, just remember this magic. And children, you can perform this magic at home also. It is safe and it is fun to do. Okay. So, everybody is going to do this magic at home today itself. When you go home, na, after home time, everybody is going to perform. Okay? Chalo. Thank you. I hope everybody enjoy. Hello everyone. We, the students of class 2, are going to present for you a magic with the help of experiments. And we assure you that you all will enjoy with us. So are you all ready to explore something very interesting today? So let's get started. I practice my course but I am going to take it to the world of learning with fun. Today we are going to show you how the image of an object is in practice in a glass of water. Begin with the experiment. First we will take a piece of white paper. Draw two arrows on it, one at the top and the other at the bottom. Both of the arrows should point at the exact same direction. When you have done with that, it's time to start the second step. Now take an empty glass or jar and pour water into it. Make sure that you fill the water almost to the very top. Now, me, the next step is to position up yourself in such a way that you are able to see the front side of the glass. Now, we take the same piece of paper on which we have drawn two arrows facing same directions. Now, slowly lower it behind the glass. Let's watch the game. Raise it up and then... Slowly bring it down. As you can see, both the arrows are pointing in the same directions. Can you tell me why when we look at the bottom through the glass, it is the change direction of the arrows? Can anybody? It is because of refraction of light. Before we tell you what is refraction, let me tell you that if you see something, this is actually the light reflecting from the object. Traveling through your eyes, on the way, refraction can change how it looks like. All of this is happening because of density. But Ina, do you know what density is? No, I don't know. Please tell me. Okay, I am going to tell you what density is. Density is actually the weight of an object. Different objects have different densities. For example, I am going to take a pencil box and the pencil. As you can see, the pencil box is heavier than the pencil. Light travels with different speeds in different mediums. For example, air is the lighter medium and water is the denser medium. So when light travels from air to water, it gets diffracted. When the diffracted light reaches the eye, then we can see the opposite direction of the object. Magnifying glass. Glasses used for eye testing, telescope, microscope. All 
of refraction of light. So what is refraction now? Refraction is change in the direction of light passing from one medium to another. But there are many more life examples of refraction of light. For example, I am going to take a coin.